Hello and welcome to Wrestling Wrestling Chat. My name is Barry and this is This Week in Wrestling, episode 11. Guys, we've got a shit ton to talk about this week. We're going to be going through things such as the recent WWE releases. Um, is AEW still, for me, one of the best weekly wrestling shows? We will talk about it, the possibility of them being cancelled. Um, we're going to be talking about Nakamura as well. We've got the UK pay-per-view name and a few other things in there as well. There's going to be some rants. We're going to have some fun. So relax, put your feet up and watch this baldy man moan. But before we get into today's video, don't forget to hit like, subscribe and that beautiful notification bell. I'm going to roll the intro and I'll be back with you in 11 seconds. Boom. So, let's get into it guys. The UK pay-per-view premium live event thing, whatever they're calling it now. I don't know what they're calling it, right? Whatever the fuck they're calling this, the, the, the things that WWE put on, has been revealed. The the grand name, the wait that had to be waited, we had to wait for this. The marketing genius that is behind this thing. They came up with this. Clash at the castle. The fuck? <laughs> I think the name sounds pretty cool. Something different, isn't it? Um, but it does have that great balls of fire <laughs> rain feeling to it. I just... It's so weird. It's a, and do you know as well, I know there's castles and wheels and stuff like that as well. People are going to be like, that's why they came up with it. I can guarantee you the person who came up with this name went... The UK has castles, and there'll be fights clashing, so we'll call it, and that's it. It's probably like a coffee idea. This isn't even, there's no thought has been put into this pish, apart from like a couple of sentences. I can fucking guarantee it, because this is the pish that I come up with before we get into the, the further stages of a marketing or advertising campaign. This shit is just stupid, but I think the name's alright. I know it's stupid, but... It'll be alright, you know what I mean? I mean, they, they, they literally could have just put SummerSlam here, and I they could have done that, but they haven't. So, that's a thing, but uh, let me know what you think of it. Do you, do you like the name? I think the, the graphics of it look stupid and that. The SummerSlam graphics that they've got, I don't like. Why can we not just have like that wee retro SummerSlam one? Just put that up, because it's like... I don't know why they're loading the SummerSlam here, but... Anyway, other thing is Nakamura just been passed there for this this match with Roman because of what he built with Drew. It's kind of weird. Do you know what I mean like, guys, you've not got that much today for the rest of the year, so you you could have planned this out longer than what you have. But uh, aye, that that's there. You know what I mean? That's kind of that's kind of there. There's not <laughs> nothing else I can really say. It's WWE. You know, I'm not even watching the weekly WWE shows. I'm just catching the clips on fucking YouTube. I'm not sitting down to watch a three-hour Raw without ads with two and a half. I'm not sitting. I'm not taking two and a half hours out of my day to sit and watch that terrible wrestling product. And the same with SmackDown. With the first like forty-five minutes of these shows are all right, and then the rest of it's just downhill. But uh, aye, so let's talk about the WWE releases. while I've got you here. So a few of the guys got released. Um, the, the big name ones for me are that Harland, uh, Parker, Bordeaux, whatever his name was, Parker, um, Loomis, Dexter Loomis was a kind of big one. As well. And then Dakota Kai. I, I was surprised that the, the Dakota Kai is a big surprise as well because I really thought they would have done something with her more than what they did because she's got the ring ability, she's got the look. But maybe she just didn't know what to do, what they were doing, whatever. But these guys got released. Dexter Loomis was another one. I really enjoyed his character. They were doing stuff with him and then obviously they've just let him go. So it's kind of weird. I'm excited to see where Loomis goes. Dakota Kai is probably going to go to AEW, let's all be honest. We all know that's probably going to happen. Harland Parker, I don't know where he's going to go. He's, he's still pretty green in the industry. Still new. So we'll know. I, I don't really see him... Maybe this independence and we see him come back to the to NXT in a year or two. But I think that and WWE are playing a smart game here as well. If you think about it, like Dakota Kai, we've not got anything for you in the main roster just now. You're just going to be sitting in the back or you're going to be doing some job matches. Why don't you go sign a contract with AEW, go there for two years, 
Then when it's done, come back up here and you've built a name. Go away, do it like a Cody Rhodes done. That's a possibility what they could be saying. But see, to be honest with you, I think the Kota Kai is the, the biggest one that they've let go that could have been used more. Are we going to lose sleep over it? No. Are we really going to miss any of these guys? No, no really. It is what it is. So I don't really... If they didn't see stock in them, it's their own business decision to be able to remove them. That's that's it, obviously, at the end of the day. So AEW, guys, is it still one of the best weekly wrestling shows for me? Yes, it is. Nothing else that I can really say about that. AEW is probably the one thing that I like to tune into. Um, on a weekly basis. It's one of the only shows, Dynamite, I don't really watch Rampage. Dynamite is one of the only weekly shows that I actually sit down and watch um, when I've got some time. But there's things going around saying that Warner might cut um, AEW at some point here. If they do, somebody else is going to pick them up. They're not going to be left floundering very long. It would probably be like a week of missed TV and they'll be picked up. Do you know what I mean? I don't see that there'll be any issues with them. I don't see that they, they would let them go because it's it's a show that's getting in close to a million or just over a million on a weekly basis. They probably want to keep that on the records as well. Saying that they've got a, the rival wrestling company to the WWE there as well. We probably want to keep that too. But um, I I don't see there would be any issues if, it did get, if they did get... But let go or whatever I don't really see that there would be a problem there so while I've got you guys here what I want to do is have a little look through WWE Wrestlemania Backlash I hate the fact that it's called Wrestlemania Backlash wish it was just called Backlash like it used to be but let's have a little look through the card um, before we do that did you see the Bobby Lashley thing when he, he hit the ropes and obviously he fell off because the top rope broke that was Pretty scary and injury <laughs> could have happened. Lucky he didn't he? But um, let's go through the card here. So we've got Bobby Lashley versus Omos. I'm not really interested in that. Madcap Moss versus Happy Corbin. AJ Styles versus Edge with Damien Priest. Drew McIntyre and RK Bro versus The Bloodline, Roman Reigns, Jey Uso, and Jimmy Uso. I don't get why you're tying your champion up. At a pay-per-view in a tag match. I don't get that. But, right. Cody Rhodes versus Seth Rollins. Uh, Charlotte Flair versus Ronda Rousey. And that's an I quit match. I'm not interested in that either. I don't know. This card looks pretty shit. I hopefully it does something good. Um, the sh- Flair and Rousey stuff, I'm not interested in. The Rhodes and Rollins... I'll be looking to watch that. AJ and Edge, I'll be looking at that as well. The rest of it, I don't even know. I don't think it'll be that good. But, um, I honestly, guys, it's it's kind of quiet in wrestling. I mean, obviously, there's news popping here and there. Shows have been alright. Sammy Guevara jumping from the top bladder. So, I think AEW, as much as they're my favourite wrestling show on a weekly basis, they do have some issues. They're giving away too much for free TV. Do you know what I mean? Get, the audience hasn't grown, so let's just give them fucking extra. Like the thing with the New Japan stuff. Nobody's really want to watch. Like nobody, it's not a wrestling fan that's going to tune in to watch this New Japan thing, which is which is shit. And I hope the pay-per-view does good, because I'm going to tune in to watch it, because I'm a wrestling fan, I enjoy it, but I don't think there'll be a lot of buys or a lot of new eyes on the things that they're doing. And I think as well, you're turning the channel over, like you sit in, you see a cool, a cool move, right? You see them do like a cool, a cool jump. You see that Sammy do that off the ladder. What's the point? How have we got here? Like, they don't know, like nobody knows. And I know something that people always moan is WWE don't tell people what their moves are. Something that AEW don't really do is explain what the fuck they're doing. Like, WWE's really good at you could miss it for a year and come back and know what's happening. WWE's really, really good at that because they're such a fucking powerhouse machine. And I know the IWC are going to sit and say that people don't need to be spoon-fed. But some people like to just chill out and watch the fucking show. They don't need to be told 
they don't need to have to watch a YouTube show or have watched this seven months fucking continuously to get what's happening, do you know what I mean? But I think both products have issues. AEW is my favourite one. I'm going to just say I'm enjoying that the most. WWE, I'm not hoping any hopes that it's going to get any better. Will I probably go to the pay-per-view when it comes to the UK? More than likely. And also, another side note is I'm pretty glad I've no fucking went O2... OTT with the fucking unionist the uh, union jack shit I hope they don't rip the piss out it do you know what I mean like there's a ton of people within the UK that that could be seen as being offensive to but let's just patch the union jack have one or two just leave it at that because we don't need to continuously see it because it's a fucking shit flag but um, I I don't know wrestling at the minute just feels very weird do you know what I mean it feels like where something's coming, but it doesn't, after Wrestlemania, it just feels like something's coming, but we ever get to it, and it's, it's sad to see, but, I hope we're going to be getting, a shit ton of good, um, good storylines, good wrestling, coming up in the next, couple of weeks, I really, really do, I hope we're going to be getting, I hope the UK pay-per-view is good, I hope everything just keeps, getting better the other one of my favourite also while we're here the Impact Wrestling uh, Inspiration Iconics whatever they're called they have left wrestling so taking a step away from the in ring I think that's we're not going to cry about it are we we're not going really, to they've done some they've done some funny stuff when they were in WWE they, they've been pretty good in Impact but they've stepped away we're not going to lose sleep over it again. That's the problem with a lot of this at the minute. It just feels like um, there's no a lot. I don't know. There's just no a lot there. And like if you like the Good Brothers, they're probably going to be going to AEW soon anyway. Um, you got FTR up there, who's probably one of my FTR and the Briscoes are my favourite tag team. At the, the two of those teams are my favourite tag teams at the minute, and my favourite wrestlers to watch. Um, FTR have been putting on fantastic work and are just getting recognised like they should. But um I I don't know. I feel like that wrestling's missing something new. Missing a missing something and I don't know what it is. But anyway guys, don't forget to hit like, subscribe and that beautiful notification bell. I'm off to do nothing for the rest of the day. I've been to the gym this morning and I've got nothing to do the rest of the day. My kids and my partner are away, so I can chill out. <laughs> anyway guys, I'll let you go. I'll see you back here Monday for my retro review. Look back, we're going to be looking back at 1997 for the month of April, which is going to be a fun one. See you later, guys.